Welcome to Talking Beards, an entertainment news podcast all about the facial hair lifestyle and the people who use their beards and mustaches to help change the world. Join your hosts, World Goatee Champion Aaron D. Johnston and two-time National Goatee Champion Scott Sakura as they talk about all the important issues in the community from charity events, competition news, styling tips, breaking news, and much more. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern as we stream live on all social media platforms as well as TalkingBeards.com and answer all of your questions. Join in our chat room and be a part of the show each week as we give away great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. I am your host, Aaron D. Johnston, and I am Scott Sakura, and we are Talking Beards. Breaking news. Breaking news from the National Beard and Mustache Association. <laughs> Na- the National Beard Championships dot com. That's where you can go. That's that's where I was going with that. Yeah, you were you were right there in the in the ballpark. What what's uh, Nationals got going on? Scott scored the beard tester. So apparently, if you guys attended Nationals this past year and were in the beard chain that went to the Guinness Book of World's Record that now is declared the longest beard chain in the world, you can get yourself a official certificate. A what what is it? A uh, if you took part in the 2022 longest beard chain, the Guinness Book of World's Record attempt, and would like to celebrate your success, the certificate of participation is a great way to show how you earned your place in the record books. The Guinness World Records commemorative folder will contain a certificate of participation for the record attempt you took part in. So if you want to uh, display this in your collection of awards that you have at home from all your different beard competitions, uh, all you got to do is go over to nationalbeardchampionships.com uh, and then go to the... It's in the where, store or wherever that stuff is. Yes, yeah, store. Apparel? Nationalbeardchampionships.com yeah, slash store. There it is, slash right. store. But yeah, that's that's pretty cool. It's it's the official certificate from the Guinness Book of World Records. So that's it's the the legit deal. This isn't this isn't something that Brian Nelson came up with on a typewriter. This this is straight from Guinness themselves. So that's pretty cool. And if you were involved with that event, you know, it's it's thirty bucks. I think I don't know. I don't know how much it was. We didn't Get click on far. it. And figure. I, I, we didn't get that far, but I think that's how much it is. And if it's not, don't quote me. But you know, it's a cool keepsake for sure to remember that that very cool occasion. Aaron said it's thirty dollars. I just quoted him. No, I said maybe. <laughs> don't I, I don't know. It's click it and find out, and then then we'll all know. But bearded respect members scott jason and michael were a par- party of that amazing achievement oh what uh it must be the first volume one no they were talking about from the beard chain these guys uh came and uh they were all part of the beard chain that was a no, I bearded think he's, respect he's talk- a no. no youtube show yes it is that's what that's what he's talking about eric cho <laughs> says that's pretty cool i'm you know it is eric eric it is it is eric <clears throat> But How's I, my internet it's, doing? Oh, uh, it's kind of icky. Christopher Counts yeah. is here. Can you believe that? I was wondering if he was going to show up tonight. And there he is. He came right on He's time. Counting. We counted on him. He is. <laughs> yes, he says we're part of L O L the chain. I like this. That's that's laughing out loud. Yeah. So, all right. All so right. tonight, tonight. We wanted to talk to you about the uh, volume three, the competition that's going to be coming up this Saturday. And we kind of wanted to give you a walkthrough on if by some chance you have the uh, FHL app or how to actually sign up for this event. So we're just going to pretend like I'm interviewing Aaron here because he's going to yeah. tell us all the answers and we're going to bring up. All of them. Yeah, we're going to bring up the uh, I got to get this all functioning again. We were trying to get this all up and running earlier, and we uh, we had it up and running. So we're we're still figuring out 
the uh, the format for the competition. It's not like it's like this weekend or anything. We've got plenty of time to figure this out. It'll it'll. Did be you say floor but, mat? I don't think so. Did I? Oh. Did I say floor mat? I don't know. I don't know. The Guinness Book <laughs> is thirty five dollars. This certificate. Thank is you, Andrew Matson. It was thirty five dollars. Thirty ish. I meant to say thirty ish ish dollars. <clears throat> but yeah, we're going we're going to talk about the competition. So you're while Scott's getting that up, um, do you, you we're just going to talk about how we're going to enter this thing. You want me to go over that? Yeah, let's go over. I'm I'm ready to go with this, but I don't want to bring it up quite yet until. Okay. I made a little little picturey thing to go along with all all the the postings, and and this was probably the easiest easiest way. You know, this is how it works. So you just go to the Eventbrite link in the event page, and then that's where you will see this guy right here. This is what the Eventbrite link looks like. Scott Sakura has a picture and everything. So you go to the Eventbrite, mm-hmm. you click on this guy, then you you can pick any category you want and you donate whatever money you want. So it's all this is really up to you. We're not telling you what to do at all. You you go to the Eventbrite page, you pick whatever category you want, and you give us however much you want, and then you're done with Eventbrite. It's that simple over there at Eventbrite land. But then you go to FHL app, and this is where it gets a little tricky because the FHL app, uh, you know, isn't necessarily up to date, Scott Sakura. Did you yeah, know that? Not, so not really. So. I, I haven't checked it out on my new iPhone, but um, so we're going to be, I'm running it off my, uh, my old iPad. So, so everything that I have understood is it still works on all the iPhone stuff. It's the new Androids it doesn't work on. And, and apparently it, it still works on some of the new Androids, but not all. So I don't, there's, there's some it works with and some it don't. So I don't know. But it, it, if, if you can't get it on there and you, you go to the FHL app and you can't put your picture in there, just send it to us, me or Scott or whatever, and we'll, we'll, We'll load it in there. We'll we'll get it figured out Friday. Um, so yeah, you just click on go to the FHL app, click compete. You click on your category, you click compete again, and then it'll be like, hey, put your picture in there. And then voila, you put your picture in there, Scott. Voila. Scott you're so done. we're gonna kind of show you guys right now. So this is a FHL app right here. There it is. That's so that's what it's gonna look like. Okay, so if we look at live events. There's no live events going on right now, so it's nope, not going to pull up anything for you. Nope. Sorry, but their next event is in three days. At 15. That must That's be ours. Us. Yeah. That's so our event. Scheduled, so you'll see Talking Beards, the competition, so you click on that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, mine's already set up. So your home. setup is the MC, so you're not going to oh. be able to show that part. Yeah, I just thought about that, but but this is what it's going to look like. <laughs> yeah, so, so you're going to go to the, the top. Where go go back up to it real quick, right there where it says launch event call categories. I think that'll just say categories or compete. No, that's where it'll say compete. There'll be a third little block right there, and it'll say compete, and that's that's where you go. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so you're going to click on compete, and then it's going to ask you to enter your FHL account, so it knows who you are. And then it'll ask you to upload a picture for this event. You'll do that. And then voila, that should be all you have to do. That's it. So then what I said floor mat. (laughs) I don't know why you would have said floor mat. I don't know. (laughs) But yeah, so this is what, what it looks like. So we're, we're talking beards. If you guys didn't know that by now, Um, that's who we are. We have no sponsors. I mean, of course, you all know, you know, Honest Amish, Team Honest Amish. But we're going to talk about that. We got the judges on here. So you can find out a little bit more information about uh, the event on the app. But we're going to just show it to you real quick so you guys have an idea. And this is basically what you're looking at right now on the show is what it's going to look like as we do it. So we'll bring up all the different uh, contestants in each category. You'll be able to see who they are. And then we'll do the, uh, Oh, sorry. My nose. I'm going to sneeze. Oh my calculations. Gosh. And then we'll present to you the top three. 
There you go. So yeah, yeah we'll, we'll go through we'll go through each category, and and as of today, every single category has at least three people in it. So we won't have to make any cool little picturey things with two people. So every category is essentially not necessarily full, but at least the the top three spots are full of all the categories. So we'll go start from the top, and we'll we'll work our way down, and then. After each category, we'll be able to show you who won each category. Scott Sakura. We're gonna do that. We're gonna show each person. So we are. Um so but let's talk about our judges and then uh how is the judging gonna work for this? Explain how we're doing this. Because this is All right. this is actually in the past with the other two competitions, we tried to work this whole thing where we presented each of the contestants anyone could log into the fhl app and then right in there you guys could just vote for whoever you wanted right and you still can do that you can still get onto the fhl app and you can still pick your favorites and, and all the, that good stuff. the fantasy league yeah the fantasy league thing and uh what we did before is we just kind of tricked the system um the fantasy league was never intended to be the 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 judge but we tricked it, and that's what we did the last couple of times. This time, we we have actual judges. So the way we're going to do this is uh, we're we're going to meet early Saturday morning, uh, and we'll we'll bring up a stream yard, and we'll, we obviously we won't go live with it. But all the judges will have their FHLs, and we'll just we'll do like Scott had on there. We'll we'll bring up the FHL, and we'll just kind of scroll through it together, and. It, they'll just have to vote. If you've ever used FHL or judged through a FHL, it's it's got a scoring system with a little picture in it, and that's not really the intent. It's just to be like a bookmarker so the judge for at a live event can look and be like, all right, well, this is that picture of this person, right? But we're just using that picture as the judging thing because it's online. Obviously, it's not the, the best way, and you're not going to be able to see everybody's beard all the way around. And some people's beards are going to look better than others because the picture turned out better or whatever. But, you know, is what it is. It's an online contest, and it's a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, we're going to raise money for Josh. Scott has score. But so you, you want to go over these judges? Is that what you want to do? Yeah, let's pull this back up because I just made an adjustment and I want to see. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my gosh. I just, there it is. Yeah, it didn't work. Tried to make it bigger. Oh, well. All right. Well, the first judge, you, you saw that one. We can just uh, bust him out here. So uh, from the Richmond, Virginia villains, bearded villains, uh, Rob Schieber. Um, he, he's going to be, be one of our team judges so we'll, we'll be able to hang out with him early saturday morning and you know he'll get the yes yeah, so awards is going to be going live at 7 p.m eastern correct or yes yeah, so. right yeah so we'll we'll just go it'll just be like a talking beards episode that'll go live at, at 7 p.m eastern time so anywhere you watch talking beards um our facebook's talking beards everything youtube twitter all that good stuff it'll be at those locations Jason, thank you for your support. Yeah, man. This this is our charity this time. Josh Druin, right there. We're we're just raising money for for that dude. He was on our uh two weeks ago, right? He was on our show and we, we heard all about his his kidney struggles and, and that's you yeah, know, that's our that's our charity person. What was the word that you used? Recipient. Recipient. Gosh, that's such a hard word. <laughs> You hear but, a hard yeah. word. I floor am, mat. So floor mat. <sighs> I don't think I said floor mat. I really don't. You didn't. You said format. Format. That's what I said. I was like, what did I say that was close to floor mat? That was really bugging me. <clears throat> All right. Next judge that we're we're going to uh have judge your your faces there. We're we're gonna go with Andrew Orton. And he's uh, from the Mad Viking Kentucky chapter up there. <clears throat> and yeah, and Bearding Without Borders behind the scenes fame. Who else we got, Scott Sakura? You ask? Oh, who else do we have, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> we have Brittany Nicole from the uh, Bearded Centers Nomad, I think. I think that's her official, or is it Bearded Centers Ohio? 
She's a bearded center lady for sure. I do know that. I just don't know the chapter. I think it's a nomad thing. I think that's right. Isn't Billy a nomad? So I would assume that Brittany would as well. See, Melissa also heard floor mat and she's sticking with it. So do so am I. Yeah. Well, Melissa's daughter hates me. So that's probably her typing it. So she's like, she stole Melissa's phone. She's like, yeah, floor mat like that. And she's like flipping me off. She's nomad. Pissed. Nomad. She's a nomad. Thank you, Andrew Hatton. See, I was right. That was my first guess was nomad. All right. So then uh, next we have another lady that's that's going to be one of our judges from the uh, uh, Beard Mob West Coast or California. There we go. Beard Mob California. We have Mrs. Fabs herself, Emily Grazzi. So I don't know if she's, she's judged or not. This may be her first time judging. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, but it's it's probably going to be a super hard judging format. I I would not want to genuinely would not want to judge this competition with just like a picture. Like it is what it is. It's an online competition. <laughs> what do you want us to do? Um, and then rounding out our very esteemed panel of judges, we have another beard mob representative, but this time from across the pond. We have Dan Silky Brown that's going to be uh, judging this little beard competition we we have coming up Saturday at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time, I think. Yeah. Dang, I had a I had an England little ad thing, but I didn't put it in here. Oh, well, I made one for England. It, it, we come on at midnight there. <clears throat> um, and rounding out our our amazing panel of anybody being involved with the the competition thing is these two knuckleheads of co MCs. I think we're we're uh, that's us, Scott Scora. That's us. That's us. We're we're gonna be MC in this thing like we we've done the last couple of years, and I think this year's gonna be the best yet. I think maybe. Yeah. Probably. Um, I mean, we're <laughs> a lot more seasoned. We'll just put it that way. We're a lot more seasoned, and we've, uh, but we've talked about this competition way less this time than ever before. So, as far as you and I go, but I think this will be, we'll be good. We'll be good. Jason's definitely a fan of the knuckleheads. I am also a fan of these knuckleheads right here. Look at these guys. Oh they gosh. look so good. Gosh. We just like, we're like peanut butter and jelly. Basically, like Bert and Ernie. Why is it not Ernie and Bert? Because B comes before E. Seasoned means old. You're yeah, right. Well, I, you are. I I feel super old. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's what we're going to do, Scott. We're, we're going to go live at 7 o'clock Eastern on Saturday. We're, we're going to hammer out this FHL competition. And uh, we're going to raise money for Josh. That's That's pretty much it. Yeah, and uh, so then what are the winners of each category going to be receiving? So I I failed at, at one little aspect of this. I meant to get a picture, but they are going to get a, a trophy. First, second, and third, they're going to get a trophy. I, uh, you know, I don't necessarily, let's see, what do we got that's close? So we'll just say it, it may resemble this kind of, sort of. You did it. Sure did it. But uh, yeah, we, we've got little star trophies that uh, were first, second, and third, and everybody will get one. And uh, yeah, they'll get a full size Honest Amish product of some sort. Might be an oil, might be a balm, might be a soap. Who knows? It's just, it's just kind of whatever fits comfortably in the box with the little trophy is is what I'll send out. But yeah, we're. Uh, the plan is to send out first, second, and third for all 16 categories. And I guess the combo will be like 17 categories because combo has two people in it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. Everybody gets a trophy that wins for second or third, and they'll get a full size ensemble product, probably like a sticker. Who knows? Who knows what else will go in the little box of Scott? We're digging into the archive here on the FHL app right now. Okay. Talking Beards, the competition. There it is. Volume one. So here we go. This was, I believe, uh, Logie was our best in show. He was. He was. Stop. 
What's that thing? We're live. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make it go away. Is it still going to say like trial on it for uh, the competition or will you have the full version by then? Oh, <laughs> I will. Oh, I can stream it. Um, I will have the full. Wow. There's so many different. <laughs> We're so learning. For activities. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, it'll be it'll be out of here. But yeah, so here's uh, all the different categories. Are are these pretty much like all the same categories we're gonna have? One hundred percent. All the let's see, is the quarantine beard on this one? Yeah. So I I took away quarantine beard. It's gone. But everything else is there. Let's see who did was in the goatee category. Yeah, let's see who won the goatee. Look at Idiot. that knucklehead. Look who at that else? first place, Andrew Madsen. Second place. Todd, two beards, Bailey. Look at that mustache. That's so cool. Look at that mustache. Now it's all bright white. Look at this. Patrick Dawson. Yeah, so and then here's all these other oh, let's see. Where's Karina Creative? Who was in this category? Let's see. Third place went to Tisha Chickenbread. She got third. Fawn Hall, I don't know, never heard of her. The toilet paper thing, because that was cause COVID. COVID. Yeah, because of yeah, COVID. Because toilet paper. Remember that? And first yes. place, ramen noodles. Monica. Look at that. So all you have to do is just basically, I mean, if you look at some of these pictures, uh, I'll just randomly post a couple more categories yeah. up. Uh there you go. Over 12. Yeah, Duff Sean Duff right. right here. All he did was he went into the bathroom, took a picture. That's literally all you have to do. It's easy. Super just, easy. Look at yeah, that. John take Banks. a picture. Monty just sat in his car, took a picture. There you go. Submitted it. So that's that's what we recommend is just a, a new selfie. Now, if someone takes it for you, it is what it is. That's that's close enough to a selfie. And we, we just don't really want the, the Greg Anderson pictures or the, the Jeffrey mustache professional pictures or the, you know, the Inkara ocean pictures. We, we would rather, we would rather it be like you took them, but you know, we're not going to turn money away from charity. So that's, it just is like what this. it is, but like what? Watch. Okay. We're watching. You did it. You took a picture. I saw you. You smiled. Like you can even submit. Boom. There it is. Or what about this? I could submit that. You could. I mean, it's not a professional picture. And, and you could have took that as a selfie. Maybe you had a selfie stick or a tripod or Nico took it. But pretty sure Angela took it probably. But that's still fine. It was, uh, you know, if that's what you want to submit, you go right ahead. But. Keep in mind, this is a picture-only contest, and you only get one shot at it. So that's that picture isn't going to do well because we can't see your facial hair, and this is a facial hair contest. So keep that in mind when you submit your one and only picture. And I get it. It's it's a one and only picture, and you know you can't really see everything. You can't see, see the sides or the underneath or, you know. But yeah, you could do a side profile picture, and that's it. But that's it. You got if that's the way. See, is what it is. It's it's fun, and we're gonna raise money for Josh. Brad has a buddy, and his buddy took his. See, even Brad has a buddy. If Brad can get a buddy, anybody can get a buddy. Anybody can get a buddy. That's right. But I don't know. You got any more questions about this thing? I'm trying to figure out where all this beeping's coming from. I hear no beeping here. Maybe a truck's backing up. Yeah, it could be. But no, something else to keep in mind, Scott Sakura. This one right that? here. Registration oh. will end at noon on Friday. So keep that's, that in mind. So that's a couple days from now. That is a couple days from now. It's it's gonna end 12 p.m. noon Eastern Standard Time on Friday, May 26th. So that will give us plenty of time to make sure. All the pictures are in and, you know, this person registered, they have a picture and, and we'll, we'll go down the whole list. Uh, we're around about 90 people registered right now and uh, be pretty cool to get to 100. I think that'd be a, a good number. Uh, so if we get 10 more people or so registered, that'd be that would be swell because I think nice round numbers sound cool. So if we get at least 100 people registered. That'd be nice. 
Um, so yeah, so registration well. ends Friday at noon. Uh, I just like if you guys uh, have the FHL app, just it's always fun to just kind of play with it every now and then. I always like to kind yeah, of just see all the different things get on there. back to utilizing it. So, yeah, I just yeah, it's cool. I mean, you can go through like who should we look up? You look me look, up. Let's see, dummy. Is that your name on here? Wow. No, I think it's just like Aaron. D. Johnston, maybe. I'm gonna do Aaron just, D. I think I, I think it might just be Aaron Johnston. Actually, it might be before the D was created. Oh my I gosh! Know. I he know. Didn't have a big D then. He, he didn't. No, just just Aaron Aaron regular Johnston, I guess. Anyway, you you ain't gotta look me up if you don't want to. But yeah, I, I gotta <laughs> look you up. I want to see what your beard card is. Oh yeah, you could check out my beard card. Look at there that. I am. Here's his comp- a a Ron really that I mean that's old you know I mean I don't I don't you're know. old you're old I don't even have a nickname but that's me that's what I look like okay stats stats events you have attended 15 10 wins 10 wins one show yeah because when I first started competing it was all all, all the competitions were uh FHL and I used to not do too well. So that's, that's this where this was your first ended. place at the Monsters Ball. Age. We were together then. We were dating? You and I? Yeah, we were dating there. Oh. Where's this? This is showdown our first place Gates. showdown at Southern Gates. Showdown at Southern Gates 2021. Look at that. First place. Hmm. Whose fingers are those? That looks like. Well, it couldn't be Andrews. Look like some stupid hands right there. Stupid. That okay, was we were, uh, Mad we were, Vikings we were, Monsters Ball one. Seven. Yeah, because those are your dumb hands back there. Show that Southern Gates again. Uh, Beard Clash, South Dakota Beard Clash, two thousand eighteen. Right. Look at how much darker your beard's getting. I know it is not going. that color anymore. Gosh, I wish it was. Look at your I wish you was like all or nothing. 2017. Wow, look at you. I look like a young buck. Look at me. Gosh. Wow. You look possessed. You look possessed. Why do your I look face possessed? Looks possessed? I think I look good. Wow, here we go. Now we're getting back to full beard. There it full is. Full beard sixth area. place. That's a uh, great American. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's 16. Uh, this fifth annual great. Oh, this is our Double competition. Pearls. Great Lakes. Look You're a that. real jerk. That night. You didn't even come over and say hi to me. We didn't even know each other. Southern That's Gates four 16. Four out of 10 groomed. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You lost a lot of weight too, for sure. Yeah, that was, that was probably my biggest right there. I was probably about 220 right there. Re- is this where you were drinking? Yes, I was definitely, I was still drinking, and uh, that was, where's this full beer, don't shave the day. Is this it? I think that's it, Atlanta. Atlanta. Atlanta in 2016. Wow, fourth place, seven full beard, natural over eight. The second annual Southern Gentleman's Beard and Mustache Competition. Back when Nashville had, Nashville Club had two events, and this what, Myrtle Beach? Yeah, that was that was probably like my fourth competition ever, probably. Yeah, that's that's as far as it goes. Let me see if I'm that's in it. here. Gosh, that was good. That was the, that was like what you called going down memory lane. It was. Probably, I don't even, I, dude. What's I up, George no, Kelly? All I know is Brett said he combined all my uh, accounts the other night. Eric Schott wants to wants to know if Sonny set up a profile. We'll see, Eric Schott. We'll see if he set up one. Yeah, see, it's not. I don't have. Uh, let me see. S Y K O R A. I could be under something different, like this. The beard caster. Yeah, because you're not. Scott yeah, Hanty pulled up. Old Scott Hanty. Yeah, you see. must be the the beard caster. Yeah, you don't even have your real name in there. Look at that. My 
gosh, I'm so nervous. Oh no, you should be. There it is. Scott Sakura, the beard caster. Gosh, you're so famous. That's me. Click them stats. You click your stats. I, I can't. Four right. four events attended. I've been to way more than four events. We'll just put it that way. This well, is yeah, Monster obviously. Ball. This is FHL. Oh, my God. Look at how dark my beard was. <laughs> it uh, is. Your beard is white now. Gosh darn. That shirt's pretty slick, though, too. <laughs> that shirt's dumb. Why are you wearing that? Shut thing? up. You're dumb. <laughs> you look like a nerd. Where are you going? You look like a you look like a cartoon character. Here we go. Beards for Maddie. Beards for, for Maddie. That, that was, was another online one. competition we did. That was us. Yeah. <laughs> you competed and won our own contest. <laughs> Fourth place for uh, men's creative oh, beards for Maddie. Look at that man. beard. That beard is way less good than mine. That's what I should do. We, we should bust out our our men's creative beards. I, I don't know. I don't know if mine made the the trip to uh, Texas. Look at oh, this. We have someone from the Philippines here right now. Keith. What? Keith Hammonds. Keith Hammonds. I don't think he, Keith Hammonds is in the Philippines. Look at that. Hello. No Philippines. shit, Aaron. That's what it just says right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, keep going. Where where's the rest of your So your Aaron never won there? a talking beards comp. I didn't cuz I I didn't think to enter my own competition. We should do it. This we should do it. We can. Oh, here we go. Look at this that Brett Strauss. One. I know. I think Brett made left that one in there specifically because we, do we Brett and I are just like two handsome fellas. It's like too much handsome for one picture. Way too much handsome for one picture for yeah. sure. Gosh, so good and looking. Then, yeah, that's that's it. That's all I that's have. It. I mean, I've been to a bunch of different FHL events and stuff like that, but it's it's okay. No one's judging you. Well, they did those times. But. You were judged. At, at most events you go to, you get judged. But yeah, yeah, that's, that's FHL mean, basically in a nutshell. That's you can cruise yeah. through there, and and there's there's a lot of fun stuff in FHL in the app. Like if you really start digging, it's yeah, there's some there's some cool beard history in there. You can go back and look at all the entries from all the contests that's ever been held on FHL. And yep. I mean that those were you know early 2010s, and there's cool. There's Cassie's in there from uh, Austin, and you you see some some cool showdowns between like Andy T coming over from England, going against Patrick Dawson and stuff like that. Like there's there's some cool cool history in in the FHL app and in the the beer competitive world. So you know, don't forget about the FHL. Cruise through it sometimes. And yeah, check it out. It's definitely worth the. I mean, it's the it's a fun rabbit hole to go down and. It is. For sure. But yeah, I mean, like Aaron said, the history there. I mean, if you guys want a good history lesson, just download the FHL app. Uh, go to your. So this is the thing. Go to your app store on either Apple. And there's some issues on Google with uh, the uh, Android version of the app. So hopefully if you have an older version on your phone, don't update it. And yeah, I think that's the thing. As long as it's not updated, you're good. Yeah, you're, you're good to go. But I mean... You don't even, if you don't, uh, so if you do have an Android phone and you are having a hard time with that FHL uh, thing, just make sure, like Aaron said at the beginning, when we started talking about this, make sure you go to pull up the first one, Aaron. Uh, yeah. Don't worry. It's the yellow one. Oh, yeah, you did it upside down. Yep. Uh, yeah, just go to our Eventbrite link. And uh, just or go to Eventbrite, type in Talking Beards, and it'll take you over to our event page. And you yeah, can- you don't even have to go to the Facebook event page. You can just go to Eventbrite. And then, yeah. like Scott said, there's a search. Just type in Talking Beards. It will pop up. Yep. So there's multiple ways you can do it. And like we said, you know, we're not asking for you to pay an entry fee if you feel like you would want to if you want to give us five bucks that's great if you want to give us a hundred bucks i mean we've had a couple people do that mm-hmm. um and we've had a couple people give us what's the least amount 
Uh, this time around, I think there was some dollars in there. I yeah, think there's a couple of people that did a dollar. So, and I know there's at least one 100. So, I mean, it's whatever you can afford. It's, this is this is what it's all about. You know, we're just doing it for fun to raise money for Josh. If you've got two bucks you can spare, then click that event bright, put two bucks in there, and send us your selfie. Boom, done. And that's really we're just trying to raise money for Josh. That's super easy. That's it. I love it. Yeah. And we tried to make it as easy as possible. And this is our third one. And and Brett helped us out with the FHL thing. So I don't have to sit up until, you know, two o'clock every every night trying to make sure all these pictures are in there. We'll just we'll do one night of it and I'll I'll load all the pictures that didn't get put in through FHL. But a lot most of them are in there through FHL. So the, it should be pretty easy. But yeah. several people obviously had the uh Android app issue and just send send your picture over to talkingbeards1 at gmail.com and they'll be there when I sit down Friday night to Friday afternoon to load all the pictures in there. They'll be in there. Bingo, bingo, as the kids say. say and, and like I said, uh, next week we'll, um, we'll cover the uh, June beard calendar. Uh, we have about 10 dates in there. So as, as we tell you every week, make sure if you have an event going on and you haven't let us know or let the beardcalendar.com know, all you do is go to the beardcalendar.com and at the bottom right corner will pop up a little alert menu and it'll ask you, uh, well, number one, the whole cookies thing pops up, but it'll ask you if you have an event you want to let us know about. So you just click on that and you can enter the information and it'll go up onto the beard calendar and you can, uh, yeah. So then we'll, we'll let everyone know about it. I mean, this page gets a lot of traffic, so it's, it really does. It's, yeah. it's kind of, kind of astounding how much traffic that website gets, but you know, it's, yeah, it's just a, there. It's just a basic page of information, which that's all it needs to be. So. Yep. That's it. That's all it is. Just basic and basic. It You're does basic. its job. Scott Sakura. <clears throat> oh, let's see what's going on. T- oh, do we take Shiba not Shiba Inu? No, I don't think so. I don't think we take Shiba Inu because it's not worth anything. And I think the, like the whole COVID thing or COVID thing, I think the whole crypto thing kind of disappeared, right? It's mm-hmm. it's over. So now no. we are taking American, American funds or England funds or uh Scottish Canadian. I don't know. We've got several countries involved. Toonies. Yeah. Loonies and loonies. Ha, ha, ha. Jeff says you're basic. Can you believe you, that? You're you're short, Jeff. Shut up. Whoa. <laughs> That's all I had. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> but uh yeah, so what else? Uh yeah, and as as we're kind of wrapping the show up right now, because I mean we we were only planning on doing half an hour or so, but yeah, and here we are, 53 minutes. Yeah, we're we're at our at our end, but uh like we said earlier, if you guys are looking for some great products, uh, I have a new coworker with a really gnarly beard. It's not, it's super, I mean, gnarly as in like good, uh, really bright red. And, uh, I told him today, I was like, Hey, did you know I do a show all about beards? It's called talking beards. And you know what we do? He's like, what? And I'm like, we talk about beards. He's like, no way. And I'm like, no yes, way. That's- Pretty solid name for your show then, man. Uh, yeah. And I'm like, said? you know, I'm going to bring you some beard products tomorrow so you can try out in your beard. He's like, are you serious? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm, I'm so Scott, and don't call me serious. And don't call me seriously. So I'm going to bring them some uh, honest Amish products tomorrow. I'm going to bring them some soap. I'm going to bring them some balm and I'm going to take them some oil. That will and be lovely. He'll I love know, it. He's going to love it. And then he's going to run out of it and he's going to be like, oh my God, how do I get more? And he'll be like, all you got to do is go to honestamish.com. And he's like, well, then what? And we're like, and you buy stuff. You buy stuff and then you use promo code talking beards and you're going to get a ton of money off. A ton. A metric ton. A metric ton. A liter. A A liter liter of beard oil. That'd be a good one. That's what we should do. We should we should sell a liter of beard oil. That's awesome. That's good. Canadians would oh. love that. 
mostly. But uh, yeah, the, this was pretty much wrapping up the show. Uh, we we talked all about Talking Beards, the club, the competition, volume three. Uh, we're going to do the live show May 27th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern. That ad forgot to have the time on it, but that's fine. Uh, so yeah, check back here. Um, Talking Beards, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, website. That's it. All those places. Last thing, too, if you were part of this fun thing, the uh, beard chain that went into now currently the world record, if you guys uh, were interested, make sure you guys go over to uh, nationalbeardchampionships.com, and you can, as you see right there in the middle of the screen, the 2022 longest beard chain uh, world record certificate of participation. If you were part of it and you want to get your certificate, you can go over to nationalbeardchampionships.com slash store or just go there and go to the store area. That's where you can get it at and it's $35. That's it. That's it. 35 bucks for your history making beard chain. You can put it next to all your great trophies that you have and your um, on your trophy shelves at home. It's a, it's a great talking piece for sure. All right. Any last comments here? We got Corey's slamming me about something. Scott's going to give him a wink to get more when the lights dim, of course. Um, yeah. No Are you and Corey mats. dating now? No. No floor mats. Melissa Parkinson. No floor mats. So, yeah, that's it. Right. Thank you. Yep. Team respect. Team respect. I'm Aaron D. Johnston. That's pretty much the end of everything I think we got to say. So uh, thank you for watching. And once again, uh, if you have not entered for uh, Talking Beards, the club, the competition, volume three, check it out. Go to Eventbrite, donate money to Josh, and uh, come back 7 o'clock Saturday and watch us tell you who won. Scott Turner, fashionably late. About time you made it here, Scott Turner. Yep, and I'm uh, Scott Sakura. You can find me on all social media at Scott Sakura. Uh, but we want you to go over to TalkingBeards.com. You can check out all the information about the show there, and uh, you can watch some live shows, or you can watch some of our archive stuff. But we really want you to go over and subscribe to the podcast. If you do listen to podcasts, uh, just do search out uh, Talking Beards, subscribe to us wherever you're at, and uh Send us a message. Let us know you're listening to the show. In fact, that would be really great. If you listen to the show, post something on our Facebook page that says, guys, I listened to the podcast. My favorite episode is, and tell us. Yeah. Tell us all about how much you love episode 48 of the Beardcaster slash Talking Beards podcast. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it, right? That's it. So, All right, Airman, everybody. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll see you Saturday for Talking Beards, The Club, The Competition, Volume 3. Everybody have a great night. Okay, so, bye. So long. So long. Thanks for tuning in to Talking Beards. Make sure you go over to honestamish.com and use promo code TALKINGBEARDS to get 15% off your order. Don't forget to tune in live next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern at talkingbeards.com.